tonight calling on protesters to work with police to help with public safety. That is what residents in one East Bay neighborhood are demanding as violent crime in the area is on the rise. However, Crown Force Hazik Marion found protesters are split over whether or not they should work with law enforcement. Occupy is threatening to shut down Oakland. We're getting tired of this. Safety is a top priority for residents in Oakland's Maxwell Park neighborhood. As OPD gets ready for another round of demonstrations planned throughout the weekend, here at this gathering to call for more public safety, a call is also going out for protesters to help keep the city safe as well. If Occupy wanted to help Oakland, they should be working with OPD to help solve some of these crimes. They should be helping to prevent some of these crimes. Well, I think that there's an actual viable thing to do. Oakland activist and former Occupy protester Shake Anderson. If you're going to protest, you have to have a cause, a reason, not just anger, but something that's going to actually have a relevant uh, change in the community. And if that means walking around, making sure people are safe, if you see that the city's not doing its job, then you should be doing that job. However, Kat Brooks of the Onyx organization says that is easier said than done. People forget that it becomes almost impossible for East Oakland or West Oakland to work with the police because there is a daily onslaught of police terrorism ha happening in our communities, whether it's uh, racial profiling, whether it's stop and frisk, whether it's retaliation for being involved in political activity. While Oakland protesters may be at odds on whether or not they should work with police to keep the community safe, these residents say they are ready to do the job with or without them. It is time for us to take back our city, take back our streets. In Oakland, Hazik Medyun, Cron 4 News. Here now a look at just some of the recent tragedies which have Oakland residents on edge. On July 10th, toddler Daphne Webb went missing. Authorities are still searching for her. Then on the 17th, 18, I mean, eight-year-old Alicia Carradine was shot and killed during a sleepover. Oakland police are offering $25,000 for information leading to an arrest and conviction in that case. And then this week, just two days ago, 66-year-old Judy Salomon was also shot to death. She was in her car at the time. Her friends say she fostered sick animals back to health and helped them to get adopted.